welcome to Columbus, Ohio. I'm Rachel Miller and this is Color Splash. I am doing some tiles today, having a little bit of fun. Actually, I just did a canvas, an actual painting, and I have moved on to little tiles. I just want to do one. I don't know. My day doesn't feel complete unless I get at least one tile done. Right now, I'm having a horrible time making a little flower. Oh, and I'm making a humongous mess. I uh, have trouble with this Payne's Gray. I'm not quite sure. So I'm using Payne's Gray by Arteza to try and make this pathetic little flower shape. Which I could make with any other color, no problem. But for whatever reason... This stuff never wants to come off the stick well for me. That's okay. It's all going to be disturbed by a blow dryer in a short amount of time. So it doesn't need to look perfect. It just needs to do its job. Okay, so I've got my Payne's Gray down. And I'm going to come in with a little bit of Neutral Gray by Amsterdam. Ah, so much easier. This is the color I should start with. And these colors are just going to build some dimension into the pearl cells. And I did not mention I am working on a pearl base. That means that there is satin enamel and acrylic in my pearl base. And right now I'm working with a one-to-one -one ratio. So much stronger than the ratio I was using in my last piece. Moving on, I'm gonna grab my titanium buff. Definitely critical color when doing any pearl painting. You need a color that is going to really make the pearl cells pop. And this is that color. So I'm putting some titanium buff in. I can hear my aluminum foil lids being blown around by my AC system and it sounds weird. I keep looking up thinking, oh my God, I pray I don't have a mouse, but it's not a mouse. It's just my aluminum foil. Okay, moving on. This is Amsterdam Turquoise Green. Sorry, I got a mouse in my kitchen like seven years ago. Not one mouse, mice in my kitchen. And it was such an ordeal. I feel like anytime I hear a little noise now, I'm almost traumatized. It wasn't the mouse that was so scary that traumatized me. It was just the amount of work that had to be done to make sure that we got rid of them all and repaired the bit of damage that they did. It was oh, awful. Anyway, moving on. This is Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam. I'm trying to move kind of quickly because I know that this is kind of off kilter here. My cake stand isn't level. Sorry about that, Sweet Pea. I am watching the neighbor's three pound chihuahua, Sweet Pea. And Sweet Pea is definitely not a quiet little guy. So I apologize if you hear Sweet Pea here and there. It's okay, buddy. Nothing's going to get you. He's sitting on an ottoman in front of a window. And every little squirrel that moves by, every person that walks by, he goes nuts over. He's adorable, though. Say, it's a good thing I'm super cute. <laughs> Just kidding. That was King's Blue by Amsterdam. And this is Sky Blue by Amsterdam. And then I'm going to add just a tiny 
Sorry, my allergies are going nuts a tiny little bit. Well, sort of tiny little bit of iridescent copper by Pebio. Did I seriously just get a fruit fly in my paint? Darn it. Okay. And I'm also going to put in a teensy little bit. Oh, a teensy little bit of this parakeet color that is simply Amsterdam olive light hue mixed with a little artist loft white. My flower is shifting. Okay. Just trying to get my flower sort of centered. Okay, I think I'm going to put in a tiny little bit more of the Payne's Gray. And a tiny little bit more of the Titanium Buff. And a little tiny little bit more of the turquoise green. I really want to have a good blob of color in the center. You'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to, well, almost spilled a bunch of paint. That would have sucked. And just putting a little bit in the center. Okay, now I need my cell activator. And I'm gonna do a little pool in the center. Okay, now on the low cool setting, I'm gonna blow this guy out. enough cell activator. Darn it. proper amount of cell activator down. That would have been nice. I hope this comes out okay and I don't have to scrape it and start all over. But I'm going to give it a chance here and see what develops. Good lord. That is super frustrating. It's sometimes very difficult to judge the right amount of cell activator. And I, I struggle with it. I'm constantly asking myself, is that too much? Is that enough? And I don't always get it right. As often as I do these, I still make a lot of errors. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take a clean paper towel, maybe, and a toothpick and I am just going to gently poke through this cell activator and sort of scratch at the bottom of my tile and all I'm doing is creating 
a pathway for the paint that's hiding underneath to come up through and kind of show itself. I'm creating lots of little pearl cells and they can take 15 seconds or so to appear. Sometimes they pop right up. So you have to give it a little bit of a chance. And I know this is kind of slow, more tedious work, but it's so worth the results. So worth the results. And oh my gosh, these pearls that are coming up are gorgeous. They all have light blue halos on them. They're really pretty. Sometimes using the back side can be more effective because there's more surface area. So you're grabbing a little bit more of the cell activator and creating a little bit more of a suction um, effect as you remove the toothpick from the cell activator. And I'll say it again, I'm using absolutely no silicone all I'm simply doing is making the paint underneath this black cell activator come up to the surface and kind of show itself. I'm just kind of forcing pearl cells to come through exactly where I want them. It's a really cool effect and really quite simple to do. cell activator is kind of thick through here where I added extra. Ooh, wow. A couple of blue pearls just popped up all by themselves. Let's see. I'm going to give one of these skewers a chance. sorry I know this might be boring to watch but the end result is so worth it you get so many beautiful pearl cells and I got some bright electric blue ones that are gonna take your breath away Almost done. Just trying to get a couple more. I think that's going to be as many as are going to want to come up. I wish I could get a couple more. Especially right in there. Oh, there we go. Yay! Oh, and they're bright blue also. Hooray! Awesome. Sometimes the fat end of the shish kebab skewer works like wonders. It's just you got to be really careful when you use it because it can distort the pearl cells around it. Okay, I'm going to bring you, well, let me scrape this and then I'm going to bring you in for a closer look. This is a cool piece. The lacing is absolutely bananas on this piece. I can hardly believe it. It's like this bright electric blue lacing throughout. Look at this guy. He is just gorgeous.
gorgeous. And look at those electric blue pearls and the halos on these pearl cells are just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. I absolutely adore this piece. It's not, you know, quite as busy as some of the others I've done. And I like that it's much more black and white. And let's see, this lacing, gosh, it's not reading, but all of this lacing is actually a bright turquoise color. I don't know why it won't read on camera, but it's all a bright blue hue. All this lacing is blue. It's so pretty. Look at that. It's like another little sea star. I love it. Well, I hope you guys had a nice time watching me paint. I love doing this. I love the surprise that this art form provides every single time I pick up the blow dryer. Like you never know exactly what you're going to get. So I may just do one more and then pack up. Um, I hope you guys join me for the next one. Please remember to click like and subscribe. It helps me so much. I really appreciate it. Wow, that lacing there is crazy cool. And the cells. Oh my gosh. Here, let me show something really quick. See that you can actually see the titanium buff in these cells. And that titanium buff up against the white is what provides that 3D looking effect that I get asked about so often. That's why I use that titanium buff along with the Payne's Gray. They really stack up around the edges of the cell and predict and per gosh, I cannot speak today and create a lot of dimension. Okay, anyway, thank you so much again. I hope you guys have a great day. Happy painting, y'all. Bye.